Aristophanes, you crafty devil. <laughs> Is there anything you won't write? Oh, hi there. I'm Josh Lefkowitz. Uh, you may remember me from the autobiographical monologue titled Help Wanted, a personal search for meaningful employment at the start of the 21st century. Well, now I'm back at Woolly Mammoth this fall, October 31st through November 25th, and I'm doing a new autobiographical monologue called Now What? We did an interview about the piece, and here it is. I knew that I, uh, you know, I liked to act, and I liked to write, and then I got turned on to the form of autobiographical monologue, Spalding Gray, and you know, Holly Hughes was a performance artist that really inspired me my last semester in college, and so uh, she sort of introduced me to the form, and then I just knew that it was something I wanted to do. So started writing and writing and writing, and stories started to build together, and soon there was a big long arc, and that was it. The DC community saw Help Wanted, and they seemed to, you know, really um, groove off of it. And it's still, now what still presents the same basic character, with the same basic dilemma, you know, a 20-something finding his way in the world, how to make uh, ends meet financially, uh, personally, how to find love and continue love despite, um, you know, difficulties that arise, as they do. So, I mean, everything that I wanted to have happen with uh, Help Wanted happened. I mean, I played a lot, got a lot of um, buzz, and people were, you know, excited to come see it, and the, the audience built for the show. And, um, and so, you know, I was ecstatic about that, and, and with that came a looming anxiety of how to equal and or surpass this experience, uh, which I think is what happens with early success. And that, I guess, sort of became the fuel that fed the fire that became a now what. Uh, you know, and, and, and there was really no place to go in terms of the work, the autobiographical qualities, um, except for deeper, and you just keep digging. And um, I, I think one of the main conflicts of the show is what happens when you do that, uh, especially with the people around you mm -hmm. um, who are resigned uh, to be characters in your work um, and are perhaps not entirely uh, thrilled about it, most notably, um, in this case, my girlfriend, Annika, uh, who's very supportive and, you know, I wouldn't be able to make the work without her. I think when it plays true and uh, when what you're talking about can resonate for the entire audience, um, you know, I think they're really supportive and they like it when it gets real and honest and dangerous, even if it makes them shift in their seats a little bit. Come see my show! <laughs> I'm gonna be an artist, yeah! Never gonna stop us now! This is the worst interview ever. We can delete this. We can delete this whole thing, actually. <laughs>